What's going on lads? I'm JamieJ619 and welcome back to Make or Break, the series where we start with no qualifications and no past playing experience and we try to make something of our career as opposed to breaking our career and that could be decided right here in this episode because the league is coming to a close and the last game we are going one on one with the Wexford U's and we're top of the league as things stand. Tied on points with Shamrock Rovers, the exact same amount of wins, draws and losses. Goal difference, we have the edge. Plus 12 over Shamrock Rovers. We're on a 34, they're on a 22. So if we get the same result as Shamrock Rovers, we win the league. But it's not that simple. Because St. Pat are only one point behind. And they have are only two behind on the goal difference behind us. So if they win... And say Shamrock Rovers and Bohemians draw. If Pats win by enough or by two or by two goals, they'll win the league on goals four. If they draw as well, we'll win the league. But it's not that simple, because Dundalk in fourth place could overtake us if they get all three points for their game, but they have to win by fifteen goals. And to be honest, I don't see that happening. But, again, not that simple. Because if Bohemians, Shamrock Rovers and St. Patrick's Athletic all lose and Dundalk win, then Dundalk will win the league to make their own four league titles out of a possible, uh, of a possible five. But we're not going to let that happen because the Wexford Hughes are down the bottom of the table, ninth place, and we're going to thrash them and then we'll win the league. It's as simple as that. But it never really is. Tactics we're looking at. Fairly strong side. We're missing a few players. Stephen Hunt is out with injury. He's out for three months. Leon Best, as you know from the last episode, has got that uh, ligament damage. And he's going to be out for up to uh, a year. Uh, Michael Collins is coming back from injury. I don't think he would have played anyway. And Roberto Lopez is injured as well. He's got a pretty nasty one. It'll be another month before he's back. But by then the league will be over. And uh, it won't really matter too much. Uh, with regards to the bench, it's fairly weak, with exception uh, Adam Wixett is here, but he's low on fitness. Uh, Robbie Benson is here too, so he can always come on if needed, but hopefully we don't need him. We can just stick with this side and uh, try to get a decent result against the Wexford Hughes. Now, with regards to fixtures and how we've been doing, uh, we left you off with the, let's see, where was it? It was the League Cup Final. Where we picked up our first trophy against St. Patrick's Athletic. Winning 2-1. And uh, Paul Curry grabbing the penalty in extra time to win us that game. And then the run didn't stop there. Because we beat St. Patrick's Athletic at home 3-0. Paul Curry scoring another penalty. Really rubbing salt in the wounds of St. Patrick's fans. And uh, Kieran Kilduff scoring an own goal for them soon after that. And towards the end Aidan O'Brien grabbed himself one to get in on the act. An away game to Galway United. They never really turned out too well for us. But this one did. Adam Wixit scoring in the 35th minute. And then Killian Cantwell and Keith Buckley got sent off for them. Which really helped us control the game. To give us the 1-0 win. UCD came up next to Daly Mount Park. And Stephen Hunt scored his first goal for Bohemians. After the fans were getting on his back for literally doing nothing since he signed. But uh, he scored in the 19th minute. Then Daniel Byrne scored in the 31st. Dermot O'Carroll scored in the 72nd and then Paul Green grabbed the goal for himself on the 86th minute to cement the victory. And then Derry City came up away from home. Uh, we went 2-0 up inside 16 minutes so I thought here we go. Easy win for us. But then Patrick McLean in the 18th minute straight after Aidan O'Brien scored grabbed himself one. And then Philip Lowry in the 28th minute 10 minutes later grabbed the goal. And it's all of a sudden it's 2-2 two, two, and I'm thinking right we have a game on now. Then in the 60th minute, Ren Hagel Martin scores another own goal. Bloody hell, if I can find a keeper that doesn't score so many own goals, I'll be over the moon. But that was not the end. 3 2 down, upsets Jay O'Shea in the 83rd minute, grabs us a goal, keeps our title hopes alive, getting us to point. Unfortunately, the semi final of the Senior Challenge Cup didn't end so well for us. Lost 1 0, 77th minute, Chris Fagan goal. Uh, Put our dreams of reaching the final to bed. 
as a uh, pretty unfortunate because we were playing well all game they never really looked like they were threatening us too bad but unfortunately uh they were able to grab a goal towards the end of the game but we are able to pick up pick it up from there against Sligo Rovers at home winning 2-0 Aidan O'Brien scoring in the 21st and Paul Curry grabbing himself another penalty in the 91st minute and then this game against Bray Wanderers if we had won that game we'd have won the league by now unfortunately Ryan McAvoy the former Bohemians man was able to beat us through a four, or 54th minute header uh, which really stung a bit but um, yeah not much you can do about it we needed to beat Cork City, had a very strapped defence, uh, Robbie McCourt had to play, David Van Zanten had to play as well, and uh, yeah, we were a bit mixed up there, but uh turned out okay in the end, we won 2-1, Aidan O'Brien opened the scoring in the 40th minute, before uh, Rob Lehane scored in the 47th, and then up steps Jay O'Shea to win us the game in the 88th minute, to uh, put us top of the league, and give us the edge, going into the last game of the season right now, Against the use of Wexford. And hopefully. We'll be able to pick up a result. To win us the league. A win will do it. We'll just uh, put everything beyond doubt. A draw is iffy. Very iffy. But uh, yeah we should probably win this game. Carl Moore is set to make his 150th appearance. For the club today. And what a way to make your 150th appearance. By winning the league. Uh, would have been nice to have him. But uh. We'll deal with things as best we can. Craig Wall's absence is, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know who Craig Wall is, so uh, not much I can really say about that. Let's get the team talks in. Kick off. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get something out of this game. Wexford's use are definitely a lower table side. So there is really no excuse if we don't come away with a win here. Already there's been goals. UCD are one haul with Shamrock Rovers. And Pats are winning as well. So that's going to put them top of the league. And nope. But Shamrock Rovers have now scored. So we're down into third. O'Shea. O'Brien. O'Brien. Oh he's got to score these chances. So we're going to need to win this game now at this stage. Because it looks like the other teams are going to um, pick up points. Ugh. God. 25 minutes in and hopefully we can grab something. Pender, Curry. Come on, Curry. O'Shea. O'Shea Moore. Goes down in the box. Penalty ref. Referee. <laughs> kind of clutching at straws at this stage. Malloy now on the ball into Delaney. Delaney comes back to Thomas and Thomas gives it straight to Byrne. All right, here we go. O'Shea. Bit of fancy footwork. What can he do? O'Shea. Through to O'Brien. O'Brien scores. The flag stays down. We're winning 1-0. That's going to put us top of the league shortly. It does. Bohemians move up to first position. That's exactly what we need. Exactly what we need. Now, can we hold out? That's the question. And they could hit back straight away. Mulligan's cross. Goes deep. Oh, it's off the post. Get rid. Get rid. Get rid. Oh, my goodness. Eric Malloy has forced the ball home. When that ball should have been into the stands by the time it got to him. Oh, Connor heads it. Right now, that ball should be cleared. Ah, oh, where is it? I don't even know where fuck Rene Gilmartin is. I mean, ah, took a score and then conceded straight away. That is oh, unacceptable, lads. Unacceptable. Right, second half. We're going to need to score again. It's unlikely as it is that we score more than a goal a game. And now to have to <laughs> score two at a desperate time like this is... It's going to take something. O'Brien. Come on, O'Brien. O'Brien. Yes! Back of the net. Sorry if I shout, but that means a lot. James O'Brien, seventh goal of the season. He's been an absolute magician in the centre of midfield this season. I know I said at the start of the season when we signed him a new contract... That I wasn't sure what kind of role he'd play. 23 assists and now 7 goals from a central midfield player in the squad that he's in. With the competition that he faces to get into that team is absolutely unbelievable. Couldn't be more pleased with how James O'Brien has played this season. And it's a score now and possibly win us the league. That's what we need from him. Pats are winning 4-0. Rowers are winning 4-1. Now 5-1, so it's 
we've got to win this game. Uh, if we bring on Wixted out left instead of Carol Moore, and let's get um, let's get Robbie Benson into central midfield, see what he can do. O'Brien can go out right wing instead of Paul Green. Hopefully, we can cement this victory at this stage. Only 15 minutes left. God, I want to win this game. O'Brien, can he score another free kick? Maley's there. Probably should have scored. Good effort from O'Brien. Maley should convert. But he is a 18-year-old centre-back, so what can you say? 90 minutes on the clock. Good Jesus. Come on. <laughs> please. <laughs> please, please, please. Are we going to win the league on goal difference? Please, God. Three minutes of stoppage time. Come on, ref. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle, ref. Referee. We're gone a minute over. What's going on? Yes, he's blown the whistle. Full time. Wexford News 1. Bohemians 2. The semi-professional team gone big have won the Irish Premier Division. What's it taken? Three seasons. Achievement unlocked. Well travelled. I wonder what that means. Let's have a look. You've won five different top league competitions. Good stuff. Nice to have. Whew. To be honest, I, going into this match, I thought we'd mess it up. I really did, because I've seen it happen so often with us that when we get in positions that things start to go well, we slip off. But thankfully, we've been able to get the win here. Leon Best will be proud. Tying Paul Curry for the top goal scorer for us this season. James O'Brien with 23 assists and six man of the matches. Can't complain about that at all. Transfer budget has gone up to £162,000, I've just noticed, which is absolutely incredible. Not sure how that's happened. Bohemians do the double. Bohemians qualify for Champions League. Yeah, here we go. Board set initial bullet budgets. The board set the initial wage budget the coming season to be £15,000 a week and the transfer budget of £162,000. I think what I'll do with that is I'll put it all into wage. And uh, see what we can come up with. Jackson enters Hall of Fame. Oh, that's good. Jackson praised by Bohemian supporters. Bohemian's board happy with Irish Premier Division win, as you would. Uh, Hunt declares win a proud day for the fans. Bohemian's favourite Kevin Hunt has commented that Bo's boss Jamie Jackson has done the club and the fans proud with the Irish Premier Division success. Hunt, con Hunt continued by stating that even though Bohemians were one of the favourites for the trophy, it still takes a manager of high calibre to lead his, lead his team past the finishing post. O'Brien impresses for Bohemians. And they are referring to that match, but O'Brien has impressed for Bohemians every single match he's stepped out onto the pitch this season. Couldn't be more pleased with how he's done. Free kick from 17 metres, winning the game for us. And that's unbelievable from his point of view. Bohemians given £138,000. That's probably contributed to the board setting a high uh, transfer budget. For first place in the Premier Division. Long on Jackson appointment. Keith Long took several questions about records being broken by 4-4-2 in the wake of Derry City's heavy 4-0 Irish Premier Division defeat against St. Patrick's Athletic. What did he say? Your old club Bohemians has gone from strength to strength ever since your departure. <laughs> Do you have any thoughts on the job Jamie Jackson has done in succeeding you? <laughs> it's not my place to comment on another manager. Perhaps sour grapes from, uh, from Keith Long there. Keegan, Jackson wouldn't send them out to her opposition. Eh, uh, well, you know. I appreciate you for saying that, but it's not 100% true all of the time. So note that, to, to be fair as well, a semi-professional club, to overcome the likes of other professional clubs, like Cork City are a professional club, Derry City are a professional club, Dundalk are a professional club, Shamrock Rovers are a professional club. Sligo Rovers are a professional club. St. Pat's are a professional club. There are a lot of professional clubs in this league. And for us to be one of the few that aren't to go on and win the league is an achievement in itself, to be fair. Pretty happy is a bit of an understatement, but uh, delighted actually with how we've... Uh, done this season and we're getting the professional status anyway hopefully in January so uh, bigger players will be brought in but I'll keep you up to speed with that anyway as it happens uh, let's have a look at uh, the player stats actually for this season 
Average rating, Liam McAlinden from St. Patrick's Athletic with a 7.45, followed by James O'Brien with a 7.41. Uh, René Gilles Martin won 21 games this season. Fair play to him. Uh, let's see, appearances, Gilmarin played all 33. Uh, goals, Leon Best came 5th with 12 goals in the league, despite only what, playing 10 games. Yeah, 10 games. And uh, Liam McAlinden, how many did he play? He played 26, just saying. Leon Best would have made it if he wasn't so uh, susceptible to injuries. Assists, James O'Brien, 15. Good stuff. Adam Wixson with 11. And uh, what else do we have? We have clean sheets. Barry Murphy, former Bohemians man. Getting it this season. Jill Martin came uh, tied for second with 11. Um, let's see what else we have. Key passes, James O'Brien, Jay O'Shea in there as well. Which is interesting to Jay O'Shea because he only came in, I think, halfway through the season. Like, he only played 15 games. So to get up there with the key passes is uh, it's a credit to him. Uh, key tackles. My two centre-backs are the two highest. That's what I like to see. Can't complain about that. With regards to players that we'll bring in next season. A goalkeeper. I said last season if a goalkeeper comes up, I'd go in for him. This season, that's extremely important because a solid... Well, I say as solid as René Jules Martin has been. He hasn't really been solid at all. He's been extremely inconsistent and a devil for scoring own goals. I don't know if this shows it. But uh, let's see. It doesn't actually say how many own goals he's scored. But I'm telling you, he's got a damn lot of them. Um, he's, uh, he's he's get, He gets clean sheets. But he scores own goals. And he, every time I see highlights of him, he always, he's always... Uh, he had a great start to the season, don't get me wrong. But, uh, really disappointed with uh, how he finished the season. Subkeeper Ty Ryan, he's never going to feature. He was just there because I had no one else. <laughs> um, I had two other subkeepers and they all terminated their contracts because I wasn't playing them. Defence should be strengthened uh, for next season. I mean, I need a new right back. Um... A new left back, maybe. Um, and maybe one new centre back. Uh, midfield, I'm happy enough with the midfield. If the right midfielder shows up, I'll go in for him. But um, I won't push myself to bring in a midfielder. And a new striker is going to have to come in uh, due to Leon Best going to be out for our majority of next season. Um, and with that, I think we'll end this episode. Um, next season what I'll do is I'll do the friendlies and then uh, I'll come back to you before the first game of the season we'll, we'll play the first game of the season live and uh, we'll go through all the transfers and all that kind of stuff but uh, yeah it's been your boy JamieJ619 we have won the Irish Premier Division make or break right now I'd say make but uh, next season will be the real test Champions League football perhaps don't want to miss that. If you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you love the video, hit subscribe. Leave me a comment as well on what you think. Who should we bring in? Who should we let go? Who's going to be the main man next season for us? Lads, don't be silent. I'll talk to you later. Good luck.